What's up guys, how are you doing? Um, I have another project that I'm going to be doing with the Jetta um, and this one should be pretty cool. From what I've seen, uh, people say shy away from it, don't do it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it because I have an extra one on hand. Uh, so I'm going to be porting and polishing this spare head that I have. I picked this head up uh, about two years ago with Brady in Albuquerque. Fairly good condition, minus um, it is missing an exhaust stud, but that's no big deal. We can get one of those. Um, so I had purchased this head. Um, it was totally assembled and ready to go. Um, fresh from the machine shop, I went ahead and took it apart uh, shortly after receiving the head just so I could clean it up and get everything ready to go. I just came across it the other day and I decided why not port, polish, and build the head. Should be a fun little project. I'm gonna go ahead, I have got um, an exhaust and an intake manifold gasket. I'm just gonna use it for points of reference um, on how big I want the ports to be. Um, the exhaust is gonna get opened up a bunch. Um, well, not a bunch, but um, more than the intake side. I'm gonna keep the intake relatively intact um, with its stock size and more do like a gasket match at the opening and then blend that into the stock port size just so I don't have to run into velocity issues with the air and messing up the ports altogether. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious on this side. Um, on the exhaust side, I think I'm just going to send it um, all the way through with just the gasket match and then just push that all the way through and be careful of the valve seat because I don't want to have to replace those or anything like that. The tools for the job, uh, of course, going to be using my die grinder. Um, probably not going to be using any of these flap wheels, but I will be using abrasive sanding rolls. There are 80, 100, 120 grit. And for measuring, I've got my digital calipers that I just picked up from Harbor Freight. Freak yeah. And then also telescoping gauge set, which are these guys. Um, and these you can fit inside the port. Um, these are spring loaded and you can tighten them um, with this bottom piece here. And then uh, just to get a measurement on that, you will throw them in the calipers. Um, ideally you'd use a micrometer or a micrometer, whatever you want to call it, but I don't have one. So we're going to use that. Um, and then also with these, it normally comes with four inch arbors or shanks, whatever you want to call them. And then I bought a six inch one from Amazon. Um, so those are the basic tools. And then also you're gonna need layout fluid. Um, you paint this on the front here. Uh, so it'll be nice and blue. And then you put your gasket on and then you get uh, like a pokey thing. Anything pokey, you can use like a, a tack or something and just trace around the gasket and it'll scribe in a line, um, and that's how far you're gonna port to. So, should be fairly easy um, to get everything all laid out. Uh, I'm using sanding rolls instead of carbide burrs because those are a little bit too aggressive um, for my skill level. Um, I do have this guy. If I need to use it, I can. I don't want to because it removes a lot of materials fast. If it focuses for you, you guys can see what it looks like. So it's a double cut, um, like an oval shaped carbide burr. Um, but yeah, I really don't want to use it just because it removes a lot of material really fast with a die grinder because it's spinning at high RPM. So that is what the project is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up the faces um, so I can paint on the layout fluid. And then I think I'm going to start with the exhaust side um, just so I can get an idea of how this is going to work out.
Okay, so as you guys can kind of see, um, they have scribe lines uh, where I'm going to bring them out to. Um, so this layout fluid worked pretty well. Um, it dries really fast. It's like just a very, very thin layer, so that's nice. Um, and now I have clear areas to where I'm going to bring the ports out to. So as you can see, that is pretty big size. Um, I'm going to make sure um, when I do my manifold uh, that I am going to gasket match that as well so everything matches up and there's not a lip that is blowing into because the smoother the transitions you can get, the better. Um, so yeah, should be nice. Uh, this seems like it should work pretty well. And I'm, I got air in the compressor as you guys can hear and this thing is ready to go. So I'm going to put on uh, some of these sanding rolls and start uh, just feeling it out and seeing how this works. So something to note, um, I was going to make some baseline measurements with the micro er, uh, telescoping gauge, sorry. Right here, this is where I took the measurement from. So it fits pretty nicely in there. Um, it is not consistent. You can't move this um, any higher or lower in that same position. So it is not an even measurement. Um, and then this one, it doesn't even fit inside, um, except for in one little area. So, and it's kind of sideways. So um, I think just the consistency of these ports after we rework them um, will help tremendously. Um, so yeah, just something to note. Uh, I was gonna go ahead and get some baseline measurements and do that, but um, I think I'm just gonna start and then uh, just start with the edges and then uh, work my way in. Change of plans. Um, so and I started with these sanding rolls and it's actually way too hard. So I switched over to the carbide burr and that is really more accurate and actually a lot easier to use. Upon doing it, I realized that this one's actually a little bit better and more manageable for a beginner. Um, it definitely removes a lot of metal really fast and you kind of have to be careful doing it, but it is probably your best option with this. Um, it'll be a lot faster of a process and you'll be a little bit more in control of where you can take these lines out to or this. I'm trying to fight it um, because it's eating through the roll. I'm trying to, yeah, so that's going to be the new plan. I'm freaking hot. It's been like two hours. Time kind of flies when you're doing this stuff. Um, but this is what I've got so far guys. So I went ahead and just made the port basically um, from this um, to, it's about 1.25 millimeters off of that scribed line here. So um, there's some parts that are a little bit, um, a little bit further in and still need to get pushed back a little bit. But for the most part, it's pretty even. Um, I just have to blend um, the inside a little bit more. There's some lines um, that you can feel. Um, but so far it's pretty good. Uh, the inner, um, so the inner height back here, and it's about where this hole, um, if you were to stick something in, it starts right inside the port. Um, you can kind of see where, uh, about right here. Um, so that is 33.56 millimeters tall back there and then it tapers all the way out to 37.14 at the exit right here um, and then um, I just have to get uh, the smaller telescope engaged so I can uh, figure out this inner one um, but I believe this one was 29.56 on the exit here um, and that's um, at all these straights so right here right here, right here, and right here, 29.56, and then it tapers down, obviously, but um, it's going pretty good. Um, I haven't gone way back. I don't think I'm going to go too deep in there. I don't want to mess up the valve guide, but it does look a lot better. It's huge compared to what it used to be. Uh, I'm going to definitely have to make sure that the exhaust manifold that I use um, is going to have the same size or bigger 
port just so we don't have any issues with it creating like a low pressure spot or some weird thing um, so yeah that's where I've gotten so far um, it's taken about two hours to get just that part done um, just you really got to take your time with this so this will probably take two four six that's eight hours right there ten twelve wow so about 16 hours um, if all goes well and I'm still not even done with this so probably like about 20 hours <laughs> I'm gonna call it a day for today um, and I'll pick back up on this tomorrow so see you later